Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribes button so you never miss out of any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Goldside! It is the crucial last minute of the 2002 Champions League final. Real Madrid have managed to draw the score to a 2-2 tie as Arsenal are shell-shocked from this return. The ball sits just a few yards from the goal for a set piece. There is nerve-wracking tension between the Real Madrid in the air as to who will step up for probably the last set piece of the final. Arsenal setting up their defense wall and calculating all possible outcomes. Real Madrid have put up a fight. They were two goals down, but have managed to pull back and it all comes down to this. Complete silence in the stadium, fans on their feet. The prayers have begun. The ball sits on the lush green grass, waiting for a Real Madrid player to approach it. In the middle of all the chaos, England's favorite son, wearing the number 23, approaches the ball. If there is anyone you want in this situation, it's David Beckham. Cometh the moment, cometh the man himself. The fans on their toes as David Beckham starts his run. Eyes of the whole world are placed on the player wearing the number 23. He kicks the ball with his inner foot and launches it above the defending wall. Just as it seems that the ball will miss the goal, it bends in and with extreme accuracy, penetrates the goal line. The stadium is an absolute pandemonium with fans marveling about David Beckham's unrealistic free kick technique, which made Real Madrid the champions of all of Europe. What a great final it would have been had it actually happened. Yeah, I know. Many of you must have realized that by now. This is the final scene from the movie Goal 2. But Beckham is one of those people who can turn even this sort of fiction into reality with his physics-defying free kicks. There is no doubt that David Beckham is one of the most finest free kick takers around the globe. The English player has earned a reputation for delivering the best free kicks with dead accuracy in desperate times of need. The former Paris Saint-Germain midfielder has a unique and physical-defying free kick technique, which leaves the defense wall scratching their heads and the goalkeeper helpless. The reason David Beckham's free kicks are so unpredictable is that the ball appears to move in a straight line as soon as it is struck, but then, all of a sudden, it bends on one side, or to put it in simple terms, it curves towards one side at the very last minute, leaving the goalkeeper in a complete state of shock over such a haphazard movement of the ball. David himself, after hours of experimenting with the ball, created a unique technique which humiliates even the best of goalkeepers and made him one of the most reliable of free kick takers in the world. After studying David Beckham's free kick technique and understanding the physics behind it, football analysts were amazed at how much brain power David Beckham put in his technique. The secret of David's unrealistic free kicks was then broken down step by step. The secret lies in the standing position behind the ball. As Beckham shoots bazookas from his right foot, he starts his free kicks by standing at a wide angle from the ball and on the left. David stands just a few long strides away from the ball and measures his steps while making his stance. Now, here comes the tricky part. As Beckham starts taking long strides towards the ball, he makes a waving circle with his left arm in front of his body, which allows him to open his chest towards the goal and put his chest ahead of his body. Putting his chest ahead of his body enables him to use his inner side of the right foot to connect with sheer blunt force in the middle of the ball, while his left foot is exactly parallel to the ball while landing a few inches away from it. Mastering the art of striking the ball exactly in the middle with such a sheer force with the inner foot is not an easy one. What this actually does is that when the ball is struck with such a blunt force in the middle, all the spin generated on the ball is nullified. But as the ball on its way to the goal is slowed down, the spin generated by the inner foot is regained, and at the very last minute, the ball seems to bend down in one direction. To give the ball flight, Bend your body a little bit down and keep your body nice and loose throughout the entire free kick. For dead eye accuracy, always keep your support leg firm footed on the ground and the ball will always bend towards where the supporting foot will point. In theory, it seems that Beckham's free kick can be executed by the average Joe on a regular basis, but it took even David Beckham himself all his professional life to constantly be able to perfect this technique and craft the perfect free kick. Beckham was seen bending the ball after practice ended and has said that after thousands of practice free kicks, he was able to lift the fans from their seats when he bends the ball. Beckham's advice to practice the free kicks is to establish full mind to body connection and practice until the legs start to feel heavy and sluggish. That's when all the energy is drained from the legs. Beckham believes that instead of a good technique, the player should have a good training regimen, which makes the player consistent. It's these ideologies that even after Beckham has been retired, He's still a notable name in the world of football.